up here in the high northern latitudes, our planet is most vulnerable to climate change. The sea ice that covers the Arctic Ocean reflects the sun's heat, helping to keep the Earth cool. As sea ice melts, the dark sea below it absorbs this heat, causing it to warm more, which causes more ice to melt. But this is just a part of the problem. My name is Frida. I'm a Greenpeace campaigner on board our ship, the Arctic Sunrise, bearing witness to and studying the impacts of climate change in the Arctic. For three months, the Arctic Sunrise has been a platform for independent scientists studying how Greenland's glaciers are reacting to climate change. Greenland's glaciers are like giant conveyor belts moving ice from the Greenland ice sheet toward the ocean. As temperatures rise, the glaciers flow faster and dump more ice into the ocean. This causes sea level around the world to rise. We have encountered flotillas of icebergs floating through the fjords. Giant majestic sculptures called from these glaciers. The eerie beauty of the icebergs signals a grim outlook. The models scientists have been using to predict sea level rise are being outpaced by reality on the ground. Greenland's glaciers and ice sheet are much more sensitive to climate change than predicted, and in fact, sea level could rise 1 to 2 meters by the end of this century, devastating the lives of millions of people around the world and the ecosystems they depend on. We're now in Fram Strait the body of water between Greenland and the Norwegian archipelago of Svalbard. Scientists on board are studying the melt rate of a particular type of sea ice. It's called ridged ice. It doesn't only contain half of the Arctic ice. It's also an important habitat for polar bears, seals and other ice-dependent animals. And as the climate warms, it's fast disappearing. In the last 30 years, the average extent of the sea ice has been reduced by almost 1 million square kilometers. That's an area larger than Norway, Sweden and Denmark combined. The speed of that decline has accelerated in the last decade, and even more so in the last four years. Scientists predict that with the exception of an Alamo of ice of Ellesmere Island, in as soon as five years the Arctic Ocean will be virtually ice-free in the summer. In 20 years' time, even that remnant summer sea ice will be completely gone. The face of the Arctic will be forever altered in our lifetime. As the region goes from one that is dominated by ice year-round, to one that is covered by ice only seasonally. The Arctic meltdown clearly shows that climate change is real, and that even scientists' worst-case scenarios are not bad enough. Luckily, there is still time to turn things around. World leaders can step up to the challenge and commit to an agreement that is ambitious, fair and binding. They can save the climate and the Arctic. It's just a matter of will. <laughs>